Yo, what's going on guys? Wild Bill here and today I'm coming at you guys with a dial tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to practice the dials, on how to stretch for them. I'm going to give you guys some combos that you can work on and I'm going to give you guys a light show at the end of all that to hopefully give you some inspiration, motivation, some education on how to throw better light shows and specifically focus on dials in your light shows. So what is a dial? Super simple, all it is is you take two fingers and you kind of make a circle with them and they stack on top of each other. You can have a single dial with two fingers. You can have a single dial with three fingers. You can have two double finger dials. You can even have, if you're really zesty, a double finger dial, uh, like a quad dial right there. Oh, kind of hard to do and you get wrist pain. Um, but dials, basically what you want to focus on is you want to make sure that you have this as wide as possible and you make as wide of a circle as possible. And you really want to make sure that as you're moving your fingers, you're going nice, slow, and controlled because that's what's gonna give you the, the best illusion in your shows. Okay, so this is how you stretch for dials. Take two fingers, you're going to wrap it up as far as it can go while still feeling comfortable. And then you can hold it for five, 10 seconds I wouldn't really recommend more than that. I would say maybe do like five sets, like hold it one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then take a little break for 10, 20 seconds, maybe do it again, 10 seconds. I would say don't hold this for longer than 10 seconds because you really don't want to be messing around with dials. It's super easy to mess up your, your hand, get carpal tunnel from this. You can do two at the same time. And then, you know, you just want to, Try to wrap all the fingers you can and all the different orientations you can. You can even do like three at the same time if you really want. If you're feeling zesty, you can do all four. I would just really recommend to keep it, play it safe when it comes to stretching on this, okay? And here is a good practice tool uh, to build up some control on the dials. You can have the two outer, if we think of this as the two inner fingers, these are the two outer fingers, right? You can have both of the outer fingers on the bottom, both of the outer fingers on top. You can have them alternate. You really want to be keeping in your mind, which direction is it going? Are these all in the same direction? Are they sort of opposite of each other? Are they all going in the same direction when you rotate? Are they all going from bottom to top or from top to bottom? You really want to be aware of these to know where the symmetries lie when you're doing dials. Here's a good exercise that you should really practice. You want to make sure all of, all, keep, keep this position, right? And you want to make sure you have this precise position where you've got your ring on top of your pinky, your index on top of your middle. And on your right hand, you've got your middle on top of your index and your pinky on top of your ring. So when you rotate, they're all going in the same, they're all rotating uh, counterclockwise from your perspective. All right, so here's how it starts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Notice it's super hard to keep your thumbs straight during that whole time and this is really going to help you build that control. You really want to make sure this is all sort of a flat line. Boom, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. You just want to kind of mess around with that. Um, and that's a really good tool in getting better at practicing dials and just getting better at dials in general. Um, seriously, I'm doing this right now and I already feel carpal tunnel. So again, you really don't want to get carpal tunnel. Your girlfriends will be 
bummed out. Take it from Wild Bill, play it safe. And here's another way to practice dialing technique. Now, you're gonna keep your hand, this is a single hand exercise. You're gonna try to keep these two middle fingers stationary. They're not moving at all. And then you've got your two outer fingers moving around them, right? So you can start this by just going index finger without moving the middle and then just the pinky without moving the ring. Super hard. Um, and also keep in mind, this is not how you wanna perform the dials because what you want is you want to have as wide of a circle as possible. I think that gives it the best illusion. And in this case, if you're trying to keep this finger still, if you're trying to keep these two still, you're getting a smaller circle because you're not moving this away. But it allows you to practice better control over your finger and that'll just give you better results overall in gloving. The better control you have over your hands, in general, the better you're gonna be at gloving and the better you're gonna, the more precise you're gonna be. So yes, keep these two stationary and you can go one, two, three, you could try to move them in all the ways you can. And there's another way, keep this middle stationary and then get the triple dial. Really hard, um, yeah, there you go. There's some tips on how to practice. And now I'm gonna leave you guys with two combos that you can practice, like moves slash combos you guys can practice. And here's the first one. All right, so it's gonna look like this. Boom, 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 boom. You can do other things with it. Boom, boom, boom. You can rotate a lot of different ways. So basically the main point of this is you're gonna have one hand stationary. And to practice this, we're gonna have the left hand flat. You wanna make sure that your wrist and your forearm are flush with it, like they're not bent in any way, they're straight. Super straight, because that really adds to the illusion. And this right hand, all we're doing is we're going forward and backward. Loop, loop. So this right hand is going from closed, open it, and then you end here, or you can end it here. It doesn't matter, but you kind of end it where you got this little 90 degree right here. You have a thumb pointing to you because you are great. And you can keep your pinky up. I like to keep the pinky up, so when I finish this, I hit the pinky down to kind of start the dial. There you go. And also, when you're doing this, it doesn't need to only, you don't need in this direction to be the only direction. You can flip it up like this, and now check it out. Now I can move the dial up and down like that, bring it up, back, up. We can rotate it this way. There's a lot of little ways, and something you can do is you can rotate with the dial. There we go. The main point is you got this hand that's kind of flat and it's kind of giving you an avenue to move the dial through something and then the dial comes in and... All right, so here's another one. We got our hand over here, right? We got our platform kind of similarly. We've got this flat with the floor. That's all it's doing. And then we got this right hand, boom. Boom, we're just gonna digit. Try to keep everything flat. Again, you really want your wrist to be in the same line as your forearm. On this hand, we're gonna have a double dial. We're just gonna go one, two, three, and then on this fourth one, we can, we can flip a dial, we can flip a double dial, and come back one, two, three, whoop. We can go here, we can close this. We can rotate that out. Boom, boom. Basically, the main, the main point is you got this thing, you got this hand that's flat, and you got something that goes in the middle of this double dial. It could be your thumb. And then you can go straight there, you know what I mean? These combos can kind of connect. Rotation, symmetry. Another thing that I really like to do here is what you can do is you can go one, you can go one, two, three, four. And then check it out, just from here, rotate there. From here, rotate there, one, boom. There's a lot of different things you can do. Um, you can have, I've seen a person do 
this, where they've got like two little locks here. You can bring a dial up in there. And bring it flat. So there you guys go, that's another move. Basically have this flat, and you got something in between the dials. Really want to end, what I really like to do with my shows is end with some kind of symmetry. Another really nice symmetry, you got these double dials. You double dial those back. Boom. 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 You can have these. You really want symmetry when you're working with dials, and a way that you get that is you really want to practice those stretches. So when you've got the lights on, they can still be, you know, straight flat how you want them to be. Hey guys, so that's gonna be it for my little tutorial. Um, I'm just gonna give a quick shout out to myself, quick plug. If you guys need anything like gloving, accessories, batteries, if you guys need any glove sets, if you guys want cool merch like this, you guys can go over to amazinglights.com or into the AM for the clothing. Use my code, how to glove, get yourself 10% off, and it also helps me. Anyway guys, so now I'm gonna give you a light show uh, that focuses on dials, hopefully give you some inspiration, and thank you for checking the video out. Peace.